Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to draw an isometric cylinder in AutoCAD. So we're going to be using the isometric plane to do this. A pretty straightforward lesson, pretty easy lesson. There are going to be a few things with the circle that we need to create where we use an ellipse or an isometric circle. Um, but other than that, again, straightforward and easy. So let's get into it. Alright, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you liked the video or found it helpful, give it a thumbs up below. If you want to see something done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments below. And if you want to buy your boy a coffee, keep him caffeinated and strung out so he can make more videos, you can do that below as well. All right, so before we get into drawing and drafting the isometric cylinder, there are a few housekeeping items we need to take care of before we get into the drawing itself. So the first thing is we're going to want to turn the isometric plane on, and that's going to be in your model ribbon down on the right-hand corner of your screen. So you're going to click here. When you click here, as you can see, the isometric viewpoint shows up. Next thing we're going to do is go into our snap mode area. And we want to make sure our quadrant is selected. Okay, That's going to give us kind of four quadrants of the circle to uh, allow us to add lines to the cylinder and kind of make it a cylinder instead of just two circles with a couple lines here and there. The next thing we are going to do is we are actually going to create an outline for our original um, isometric circle. So you'll see what I'm doing, but basically this is going to be a square and we will make it three inches by three inches. And this allows us to get a center point going for our first isometric circle. Since it's three inches, we're gonna to come to the center here, which is 1.5 inches. And as you can see, that is our center point right there. I'll zoom in a little bit. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw an isometric circle to that center point. And this is where a lot of people will get tripped up. So an isometric circle, you cannot use the circle function. If you try and use the circle function, it's just going to give you this 2D normal circle version like you're uh, looking down from a bird's eye view at the drawing. So what we need to do is we need to come over here to the ellipse function we're going to drop it down and make sure it is on the access end. We're going to click it, and then we're going to come down to our command line, and we're going to notice that it says arc, center, and iso circle. You are going to want to click the iso circle. You can click it, type it, whatever you want. I prefer to click it. But once you click iso circle, now you are able to draw an isometric circle. So we're going to come here for our center point, and we are going to come down here. And as you can see, I have created an isometric circle within that square. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to draw a line to keep our center axis uh, moving through. And that way we have another center point to place our second isometric circle. So we're going to come here, click, and we're going to come up through the pane. And we're going to come up about 8 inches, we'll say. Next thing we're going to do is you can still use your normal basic functions like copy, and we're going to copy this circle. We're going to take it from the center right here and move it to the center back here. And now we are going to actually delete the original square that we had created for the outline. So now we just have this uh, kind of half cylinder that still needs its walls. So we're going to come up here to the line button. We're going to come here, and it's going to hit you with the first quadrant. So we're going to go right there, and it's going to snap again. That's the importance of that quadrant button that you're going to want to be uh, turning on in snap mode. Come here, we're going to come down to our second quadrant. Go to that quadrant, cancel. Now, since it's still kind of like this see-through, weird, isometric um, cylinder, we are going to start trimming things so it looks more like a cylinder. This is where you can kind of get fancy and do uh, sectioning out of the cylinder if you want to. But since this is just a basic cylinder, we're going to trim and just create a normal looking cylinder. So we're going to come here to the trim function. We're going to trim this line first, more or less delete. Then we're going to trim this and we're going to go right here, trim this and trim this. Now. As you can see, we have a very, very, very basic cylinder. And again, you can also uh, section it out if you want to. You can add a gradient fill to it. I'll probably make another video on that or how to do that right. 
But right now, again, this is just the basics of how to create a very, very easy and quick cylinder. All right, so I know that was a little bit of a longer tutorial for just a basic shape, but I want to thank everyone for watching. And again, if you have any questions or you want to see something else done or another 3D shape, leave it in the comments below. But other than that, I hope everyone has a good rest of their day. Thanks for watching.